Hey guys, it's your girl Tosh, and this is going to be the last video of 2016 for me, and technically like the first video of 2017 whenever I post this because I suck at posting. I wanted to wish everybody a happy new year, and for all the people saying that they're going to change in 2017, I wish you the very best. I don't think it's going to happen, but negativity in 2017 is something that I'm going to try to get rid of. So, I hope everybody had a good Christmas, too. I really have a few, like, late Christmas videos, just a few hauls and things that I got for Christmas, outfits to put together for the new year. Um, in the new year, hopefully I will finally be the blonde that I want to be, woo, back to blonde. I'm going to be posting the specs about this look because a lot of people have been asking me about it since I put it on my Instagram, on my birthday, um, yeah, just a lot of things in 2017. Not really going to go through the whole thing where I'm like, oh, I'm going to be cutting people off in 2017 because I literally have nobody left to cut off, like, Literally, there's nobody. I have like two friends, and 2017 will be lit with those two friends. I really, really want 2017. I really, I'm not giving it too many high expectations because I hate when people do that. And to be honest, we gave 2016 so many high expectations, and we left with Donald Trump, and that was like the lowest point of the year probably besides all the other low points so yeah not really gonna put too many high expectations on 2017 but I really do want to travel I want to do amazingly in school as usual and I just want to get a lot of things going a lot of a lot of projects I already had my fingers in since I had this little break from school so I'm really excited about 2017 really excited about these videos I'm going to be posting in the next week and I can't wait to see all of you lovely people in the new year and see what everybody brings to the table if you bring anything at all yeah so for those of you who did turn up on new year's congrats at this moment I don't know if I will be but I will give a complete update on that as well during shit, while I was 27, uh, 2017, already predicting the future, while I was 2016, bad for you. I don't even want to talk about it, it was just terrible. I feel like 2016 was literally, like, a bad year for everybody. Like, literally, everybody that I talked to, they're like, yeah, 2016 was, like, not lit in the slightest. Like, not in the slightest. Like, I can't think of one good thing besides me still being alive and kicking and stuff that came out of 2016. 2016 was rough with school, 2016 was rough with family, friends, like 2016 was rough all around. Like I cannot find one good thing that came out of 2016. I mean around Christmas time it started to look good I guess maybe. I did make some bread, everybody likes making their little shit coin, you know. That was nice. But 2016 was just like, it's probably like, I feel like I, I turned 18, oh wait. I turned 19 this year. Yeah, I turned 19 on November 25th. Didn't post a YouTube video, of course. And 18 was just literally, like, the worst year of my life. So, let alone 2016. Like, 18 was, like, everybody's like, oh, my God. Like, I couldn't wait to turn 18. Like, I really couldn't. I waited my whole life to turn 18. And then when I did, I was just like, what? This sucks. Like, this is, like, the worst year of my life. Like, 17 was the best year of my life. Maybe 16. But 2016 was just horrible. So, hopefully 2017 treats me the best i want to take 2017 by the horns and just like really knock this year out like i really want 2017 to be so much better and it's the start of a new chapter i'm so super duper duper excited Dreisha, what's one thing you're looking forward to in 2016 graduation Yep, my sister graduates in 2016. My brother graduates in 2016. He's holding the camera, so if he's shaking, that's why he's shaking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, well, it's in 2016. I mean, 2017. Wait, did I say y'all graduated in 2016? Uh -huh. Oops. <laughs> See, that's why 2016 sucks, because I can't even talk straight. What else are you looking forward to in 2017? I'm looking forward to people to stop lying on social media. That's what I'm looking forward to. 
I, I'm looking forward to people who stop lying on social media. People stop giving dead situations CPR because they not coming back to life. That's what I'm looking forward to. Are you looking forward to that, Renisha? Heck yeah. Yep, I'm looking forward to better friends, better time with family, and... I'm looking forward to scholarships to these colleges. Scholarships for these little kids to go to school because... College age cute. And, yeah, like, 2017 is about to be lit, yaddy. Wait, the DJ shaking his head. He don't think so. He don't think 2017 gonna be lit. Honestly, like, it better be lit. Like, we got Donald Trump as the president. Like, the purge about to come around. Like, it's gonna be lit. I swear, the purge come around. The I'm purge is you. definitely gonna come around in 2017. I'm blaming you. Why? Because I put it out there? Exactly. If the purge come around, you first. If the purge come around, y'all, I do not live anywhere. Like, don't come looking for me. If you want to come after me for the purge, like, just pretend like I. If the purge literally happens, like, I don't know what I would do. Like, I really don't know what I would do. Like, I would have nothing else to. Like, first of all, if the purge happened, this is so off topic. But like, if the purge happened, I would be so excited because one. Like, all crime is legal. I would be thinking about... I don't know why people would be thinking about killing people. Because, personally, I would be thinking about robbing all my favorite stores. Like, I would want... I would rob and get myself a new laptop, a new phone. Like, if the purge was a real thing, like, I would not be out here trying to kill nobody. I would be robbing everywhere, robbing banks, stacking up on money. So, people that's gonna waste their time purging and killing people, y'all do realize when the purge is over, okay, those people are gonna be dead. And, like, you're still gonna be where you are, which is probably gonna be broke and sorry with no job, nothing to... Like, I'm gonna be rich, I'm gonna have all the things that I wanted. Because, like, the purge could be such a good thing. So, like, why would y'all kill people? I don't get it. Anyway, so Merry Late Christmas, Happy New Year, and I will see you all in 2017. Make it a great one.